New problems are emerging the day after an Amazon Web Service outage. The system provides servers, storage, and digital infrastructure for major companies. This includes Amazon's delivery operation, which saw a work stoppage and now package pileups as the holiday shopping season gets into full swing. News Nation correspondent Janelle Fort is live in Atlanta tonight. And Janelle, can customers expect their packages on time? Well, Ruta Bay, right now it's really hit or miss, and it depends on where you live. We know that yesterday's outage was concentrated here on the East Coast, and that's where the biggest impacts have been. Outside Amazon facilities today, lines of trucks waiting to pick up a backlog of packages. It's a game of catch up after Amazon Web Services, known as AWS, went down for more than five hours yesterday. On the retail side, the outage caused many of Amazon's logistic operations to come to a halt. Warehouse and delivery workers and drivers were locked out of the company's apps, making it impossible for them to scan packages or view delivery routes during one of the busiest weeks of the holiday shopping season. The outage also took a host of popular websites offline. Disney+, Plus, Instacart, Coinbase, Netflix, Tinder, Delta and Southwest Airlines all took a hit. The outage disrupted home smart devices, and it even caused the entire McDonald's app to crash. These firms do not have their own infrastructure. In other words, they don't have a building with a lot of computer servers connected to the internet. Instead, they rely on AWS to do the legwork. It's the largest internet cloud provider. AWS stores customers' data for these companies and runs their online activities. And is responsible for keeping most of your favorite websites online. If Amazon goes down, they go down. Amazon has yet to say what went wrong. The company's only communication about the problem was a mix of technical jargon on its AWS dashboard. A brief statement from Amazon spokesperson Richard Roca that acknowledged the outage had affected Amazon's own warehouse and delivery operations, reading in part, the AWS team is working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. Now, I just checked the AWS website. It says that as of this evening, the server has been resolved. All the issues on the server have been resolved, meaning that everything should be back up and running, business as usual. And then, Ruta Bay, one more thing to note here is that as of right now, they say that they have no reason to believe that this was a malicious act or something carried out by hackers. So many people depending on Amazon this holiday season. Janelle, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.